Allen again. Big hole in the middle. Javaris Buck Allen. Still in bounds. Touchdown. Third touchdown of the night for Allen. I mean, when I was little, I used to play outside by myself with a pine cone like it was a football. So, you know, I played a young, you know, I, I love the game. But he has tremendous work ethic. Uh, Buck, is, Buck is one of the hardest working guys on our team. Javorius Allen, or Buck, as the world has come to know him, has burst onto the college football scene. In the last month, he has made the game look easy. But easy is a change of pace for Allen. I grew up in um, Mississippi, Florida, but you know, that's outside of Tallahassee, like country town. I was born by the river. Allen was raised by his grandmother in a small town 15 miles northeast of Tallahassee. She was his backbone, raising Allen, his brother, and two sons of her own. He didn't have a father figure, had a complicated relationship with his mother, and had just about every reason to begin walking down the wrong road. My older brother, uh, before he got locked up, you know, he was basically my father figure. And, you know, he taught me a lot. You know, I kind of, you know, grew up kind of fast, you know, being with him and, you know, being raised with my grandmother, you know, I grew up kind of fast. Most kids growing up in similar circumstances get lost. With few options, fewer role models, and no roadmap, rising up out of life's circumstances is life's greatest challenge. But through football, Allen was the master of his own destiny. And one day, you know, I, I, he called me and I talked to him. And, you know, he was like, I heard you doing good. And he was like, I know you got a chance. You know, what do you think about for college? I was like, man, I don't even think I want to go to college. And he was like, what? He hung up and I guess he broke the phone. And like two weeks later, you know, I talked to him and, he, you know, and he was like, so, man, why you don't want to go to college? You got a, you know, free opportunity to do some things, you know, some kids don't even no dream of doing. And, you know, he told me that we had a long talk and, you know, it kind of, hit me and I was like, you know, this is the turning point, you know, I gotta make things happen. Allen started life on his own, 3,000 miles from home and everything he'd ever known. He'd become the first member of his family to attend college, but just signing at USC didn't mean his journey was over. Arriving late in the fall semester, Allen was forced to redshirt his freshman season and sit out a year on the field, taking away the only part of his life that felt comfortable. Um, I got here at ASU week, and that's when it really hit me. You know, you're in college now. And, and I remember I had American history class and I had a, a midterm due. And it's like, you, you gotta pick four pictures from the seven, I meant like the 60s and write about them. And you know, I did, I did three, I wrote about them and it was like 12, 30 at night. And I was like, man, I don't know if I can finish this. So boom, so I go on the internet, find a picture and I just copy and paste it, boom. Turn it in, you know, thinking I'm, you know, good. And, like two days later, I get this email and, you know, that right then I was like, man, college not for me. I think what's really remarkable about Buck is how quickly he recognized that he needed assistance and then how quickly he was willing to engage in accepting support and assistance and then how intensely he's willing to work. With help from his learning specialist and the Stevens Academic Center, Allen was starting to thrive in class. But while his grades rose, his placement on the depth chart did not. Midway through the 2013 season, however, Buck finally got his chance. The timing was right. He had an opportunity to uh, capitalize on the, the situation when he got his turn to go in. And when he got his opportunity, he did. First and goal from inside the wall. Everyone is Allen for the touchdown. But I knew, you know, I had to put in the work and, you know, I had something to improve. Really, the Arizona game, you know, I scored in two touchdowns and, you know, and, you know, like, you know, that was, that was a confident booster for me. And, you know, it meant a lot. In the last two games, Allen has scored six touchdowns. Against Cal, he ran for 135 yards on six carries, becoming the first Trojan to top the 100-yard rushing mark on six or fewer carries since 1954. You know, Coach Robinson said today, you know, every day pick something you know you want to work on. Like you always can be better, you know. And I'm never satisfied, and I don't think I ever will until I reach the next level. Probably then won't be satisfied. And so, you know, I'm gonna stay hungry and always work hard. This Saturday, USC takes on number four Stanford in a battle big enough to bring college game day to town. Buck Allen is expected to carry the feature role in the Trojans' rushing attack, but the hype doesn't faze him. 
After all, it's just football. And no matter what the outcome this weekend, he'll carry on. It's been a long journey, and you know, it's been a long time coming, like Coach O said. You know, and I, I knew you know, a change gonna come. Change gonna come. Oh, yes it will.